أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين My respected brothers and sisters This night we observe the martyrdom of Al-Imam Al-Kadhim alayhi salam the seventh Imam of Ahlul Bayt I offer you my sincerest condolences on this very sorrowful occasion when we examine the life of an Imam al-Kadhim alayhi salam, we find that he experienced severe tragedies. For 14 years, our beloved Imam was imprisoned. At one point in his life as he was imprisoned, they put our beloved Imam in a dungeon. You could not tell day from night in that dungeon. The Imam alayhi salam had difficulty breathing in that dungeon, in that prison cell. But the Imam is our source of inspiration. You know why? Because the Imam alayhi salam was patient. Even though this was a tragedy for him, the Imam would always look at the positive side. You know what the Imam would say? He would say, oh Allah, for so long, I asked you and to farrighani the ibadati. Oh Allah, for so long I asked you to give me the success to have my private time to worship you. Now, when the Imam was out there in open society, he had many obligations and commitments. Many people would take from his time. Now that he is in the prison, the Imam السلام, thanks God. He says, now I have that private time to speak to you, O oh Allah, day and night. Now I have that opportunity to worship you. Harun al-Abbasi, the evil caliph who had the Imam in prison, once he came to visit the Imam السلام, when he was under arrest, not in the prison cell, but the Imam initially was in a courtyard. Harun took a look from the roof of the courtyard. He saw a piece of cloth on the earth from above. So he asked his aides, he told them, what is that piece of cloth that I see there for hours? They told him, this is not a piece of cloth. This is Musa ibn Ja'far. Every morning he goes into sujood and he does not raise his head until at the time of noon. This was the Imam السلام, Imagine six, seven hours of one sujood. The Imam would not move, would not raise his head. But the Imam السلام, saw the beauty of his Lord. He was attracted to the Rahmah of Allah, to the beauty of Allah. And even though he was arrested, but the Imam found his pleasure in worshiping God. He found comfort in his heart by worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is a beautiful lesson for us. My dear brothers and sisters, these days and nights, as we're spending more time at home, maybe our activities are canceled, our programs are canceled. Some of us are probably even losing our jobs. Yes, this is difficult, but be patient. Look at the brighter side. Look at the positive side. Take this as an opportunity to get closer to your Lord. Take this as an opportunity to keep away from sins. We sin every single day, wherever we go. Hopefully this will protect us from sins and train us that inshallah when things go back to normal, we become different. We work on our habits. Prophet Yusuf السلام, as the Quran tells us, he was invited by those women to indecency. What did he say? Prophet Yusuf السلام, said, قَالَ رَبِّ السِّجْنُ أَحَبُّ إِلَيَّ مِمَّا يَدْعُونَ لِي إِلَيَّ He says, Oh Allah, me being imprisoned is better than the corruption and indecency these women are inviting me to. And even though Prophet Yusuf suffered in prison, just like Imam Zain Al-Imam Al-Kadhim السلام, did, however, he would worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He'd supplicate to God to better understand who we are, who our Lord is. So I offer you my condolences on the martyrdom of Al-Imam Al-Kadhim alayhi salam.
Let us be inspired by his patience. He remained patient and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevated him. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us his ziyara in the city of Baghdad and Kazamiya. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us his shafa'ah.